Hello, my name's Musa, and in this tutorial we'll be setting up live SAS compiler for VS Code extension that helps you to compile your SAS into plain CSS instantly. We'll be getting the best out of this extension by using these great configuration settings that I'm about to share with you. Okay, let's get started. So if you don't already have the extension installed, just type in live SAS compiler here should be the first one there you go install it if you haven't i'll also recommend having live server installed for a better workflow that's just optional both work nicely together once you have both of them installed second one being optional most importantly live sas compiler um you can either go here we go to settings, extension settings, or you can go from here, settings, extension, live SAS compiler. Then we want, um, and by the way, I'm in a course file called live SAS compiler shoot. So I'm already in a folder for this. Um, so we're going to, first one we're going to sort out is a, is format so um by default this is it ignore the window not window zoom level five that's just when i'm zooming in and out um so we're going to keep it to expanded then we're going to keep the file extension name is c css then we're just going to change this to Yes, so that's the folder that's going to go to. Now we're going to go back here. We're going to go to auto prefix. Let's just do. Nope, we don't want that. We want. So this is auto prefix, and so it works in all the browsers. You know, compile it automatically, or well, most of the browsers. Um, last two versions uh, auto prefix all for you um, let's go back here then we we'll go to your format um, auto prefix then generate map if you don't want to generate map that'll be false now so that's sorted for that now now we just need to Let's just do a basic setup to test this out. Let's just do index.html. Let's just this is the emits involved in this. Um, let's link it. So link CSS because we're going to call it. This is a path, so we're going to go. And we're going to call it main. And then in here, there's a bit of um, content header and just a h1 with hello. That's it for the uh, HTML. Now we're going to make a folder for the. I'm going to use SCSS. You can use SAS extension. Um, so the main. We're going to use a main one. So if you know SAS, this is so sort of, if you have the main, then you have the files up, feed to the main. Um, but I'll show you now how to add them more effectively with the partials. So now we've got the main. Um, then we have with a header, we're going to use a underscore header. And CSS. We use underscore to create a partial for the SAS files, which we then import to the main file. So they are separated into parts and linked to the main SCSS file using the, the underscore. But the good reason why we're using it in, life, in the uh, VS Code is, uh, well, the particular benefit is when it comes to this extension, 
it saves in real time when you're saving partial files. Um, yeah, so there's a header. And we're just going to add vet for the variables. And again, underscore CSS. So we've got that now. Um, so for the main, we're going to have just to sort of test out the auto prefix is box sizing border box and then the body the variables we're going to test our font family um area i'm going to do background tomato going queen's english is tomato um so let's, let's just add to the header of um content and we're just gonna add h1 as you're doing sus style RPM. So that should uh, nesting should work now, and then for this we're going to be add the variables. Well, a variable. So tomato is going to be seven, and that's it. Yep. Yeah. And now, typically you just add. The variables are here underscore like that. Don't forget the semicolon. Here I tend to have a variable at the top. Um bar. And just below I I tend to put below anything in the body, I tend to put the other file, so it's just structured much better. Don't forget the underscore, there's a partial, and that. So now we need to tell, we need to, if you look here, we've created a CSS file, the main in it, with no map. Now, if you just open this with live server. There we have it, and that's uh, working fine. Um, I'm just going to change up the extension so we can sort of see it in a different light. I'm going to compress. I mean, you can change this whatever you want. Like, um, I'm going to add min here. I'm going to add dist here. Then there's a prefix, let's just keep this true here. Okay, we need to turn this off now. Then restart it, if you look here. We have a de destination with the, uh, oh no, I didn't press, yeah. Stop that. Uh, let's get rid of this. Show you again. Nope, get rid of you. And then, yeah, don't, don't forget the dot here. Watch that again. Destination, min.css, and now it's compressed with the auto prefix. Hmm. I'll show you auto prefix here. So if it's auto prefixed, um, as well as here. Then we have a map as well if you need that. Okay, um, yeah, like I said, um, I'll add the GitHub of this document, the actual official documentation of this. Um, and yeah, so I'll be using this setup for upcoming tutorials that I'll be doing, so stay tuned for them. Thank you.